What is going on, Jasmine family? Welcome back to Run My Crypto. Hopefully, you guys are doing extremely well on this Saturday, guys. What I'm here to tell you guys is that there are people that are hating on Jasmine every single day. We got some contra controversial issues with the AMA that uh, Jasmine put out uh, the other day. But we're here to set the record straight, guys. This is a 100% Jasmine community channel, Run My Crypto. We do talk about other cryptos, but we are passionate about Jasmine coin. If you guys think that Jasmine is going to the moon, make sure you smash that like button and drop that Jasmine to the moon. Drop your bags. Let me know what time it is, Jasmine community. And I know that haters are going to be hating. They're going to be talking their madness. But you know what? We're going to keep marching on till we hit that dollar, that $2, the $3 mark. Jasmine's going to go back to $4, guys, eventually. But you know what? We're going to keep riding with Jasmine. We're going to keep pumping it out. And we're going to clear up some things with uh, some of this controversy that Jasmine's not prepared. Jasmine's not ready. Jasmine, you know what? Jasmine is putting in work, guys. And it's not stopping. So we're going to talk about the Q4 lockup. I'm going to give you my perspective on what they're explaining what the Q4 lockup is going to look like, guys. And this is based off of what I heard from the AMA. And obviously, everybody has their own opinion. But I'm going to give you guys that AMA update. Uh, so this is a sneak peek. It's not in the thumbnail. So if you clicked on this, you guys are going to hear about it. So let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Smash that bell notification. And basically, just subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this, guys. So let's get into it. This is the only Jasmine community where we take hater hatredism for Jasmine. And we smile about it, guys, because we know that we're going to the top. You know what? salute those jasmine army out there salute to you guys let's get it guys welcome back to run my crypto let's get into this video and let's get jasmine pumped up to the moon guys let's go baby this is going to be the hottest project in 2025 i'm calling it out i'm bringing it to fruition i'm bringing the universe into our sector and jasmine is going out to the top guys let's go all right guys so first of all we're going to jump into we're going to talk about the q4 lockup right so basically what what we did is we had some confirmation a little bit from um the ambassador ama uh we heard about what the q4 lockup is going to be so i'm basically what i got out of it is uh we're going to get a percentage of what the developers have locked up and that's the tokens and i, I believe it's on jasmine deployer is what they're planning to lock up now that's my perspective um i may be right i might be wrong but based on what I heard from that AMA is that they're planning to lock up what they have set aside for the new uh, Jasmine developer or deployer plan. So that's where I'm getting it from. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, chat about that. So some of the most controversial things that are coming out right now is that people are saying that in the AMA uh, that they were unprepared. Jasmine was unprepared. But obviously this is a Japanese company guys they are pushing this in japan they're not pushing in the united states so the question is that people are <clears throat> that are come the questions are coming out of the united states so it's hard for them to explain guys you know they're not uh you know they're they do their thing their business is operated out of japan but you know i don't i do believe that uh they were uh trying to get across what they wanted i believe that message got across some of some may agree some may not but what I hear is everything that's allocated to the Jasmine deployer is what's going to get locked up. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some of those things. Um, but I think that's going to be huge, guys. That means that pretty much uh, we're not going to see any additional uh, coins come into the, the market or come into play. And basically where we're at, um, they're going to take that percentage out. So let me just go ahead and pull up uh, some information for you guys so you guys can take a look at that. All right. So let's uh, let's grab that real quick. All right, guys, so what we're going to get into is the AMA. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up for you guys so you guys can listen for yourselves. Um, they're going to, uh, Jasmine US, uh, who's big, big on Twitter, Ambassador, I believe, is going to ask a question about the Q4 lockup. And then you're going to get Hera's um, explanation behind it. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into some information that I dug up last night. I was trying to get this video out last night, guys, but I had to dig, 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 dig until I kind of got to a solution for you guys. So let's get into it. Here is the AMA. For Jasmine um, on Twitter. Good night, Hara, and uh, all the ambassadors and Jasmine community. Uh, I just want to say I'm really excited about, you know, Jasmine Chain, Layer 2 updates, developments of the wallet, and things like that. So keep up the good work. But I think a lot of the, the community has a big question regarding Q4 lockup and how that might look. So if you could kind of explain, Hara, um, the process that will take place, and if you have some more details, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, we mentioned the roadmap of this year uh, in the first of this year. So the 
This is your goal. One of this is your goal is uh, token use case. Token utility. Uh, this means uh, we should we want to keep the tokens in our wallet. And uh, this is not uh, uh, based on just me chain. Uh, the now creating the layer to blockchain network. This is the we want to uh, use the uh, use in we want to use uh, the lockup function in uh, IoT platforms the hyperledger public one. And so yeah, now we are creating the yeah two two blockchain. The first the first one is we have created uh, what we have created five years maybe five years so hyperledger public one so this is uh, yeah now we have five 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 list the uh, five clients uh, listed company in japan five listed company in japan and they are using some um, purpose of the Function. So, for example, the uh, data analytics or data storage, or uh, uh, keeps the laptops securely, or uh, they don't have the customer's personal information, and so on. And the now we are creating. Uh, carbon credit exchange functions. This means uh, the yeah we we use personal data. Pers uh, we use the personal data locker for creating the wallet on my on our uh, hyperledger public public blockchains. And so yeah, the, we uh, now we still have the function on the chain. And so uh, this means that uh, we. We have the um, yeah, wallet function in my uh, the hyperledger public space blockchain. So yes, yeah, so uh, this means uh, to exchange the tokens or to issue the NFT or uh, yeah to exchange the uh, personal data locus data. And yeah, next step. Focus, we want to focus on the token utility. Token lo utility means lockup. Uh, it's uh, we want to uh, yeah lock up on Ethereum blockchain and to bridge our consortium with blockchain. Yeah, so this is. Uh, uh, sorry, this is so. Uh, <laughs> I don't prepare for the answer, and so this is so uh, difficult to uh, talk in English. Uh, that's why. So yeah, yeah, changing the chain from Ethereum to Hyperledger Fabric, and to keep, keep the token on our blockchain wallet until this year, or uh, maybe yeah, until this year. And yeah, this year's end means the March of March of 2024. Because uh, the Japanese uh, year end is uh, March, and so yeah, we are now creating the functions for uh, Lockcraft and Mint, and this means change the blockchain uh, from Ethereum to Hyperledger Fabric. Uh, so that's why uh, this is um, yeah on on time <laughs> we think is this enough to answer your questions yeah her, and i just want to say you know thank you for actually you know going to speak in english for us i know it's not your first language so i appreciate you you know doing that and um you know i think you know from my end i'd, I'd love to keep seeing new partnerships keep doing what you're doing um, i'm really excited about bifrost and kona labs so you know uh we've basically been saying throughout this whole bear market that you guys are building you guys are making the partnerships and it's only a matter of time until you know everything comes to fruition so keep up the good work thank you
all right guys so i know that was a little bit tough but here's what i got out of that and then this is what you guys should understand so <clears throat> what Heron was basically talking about is essentially that their q4 ends in march of 2024 so that's their end of the year guys so this is like really strategic if you keep this in mind the bitcoin having is happening in, happening in april uh this q4 lockup is actually going to take place in march of 2024 and what it looks like is going to be locked up locked up is coins that are allocated to that new system or that new deployer that's coming out for jasmine that's going to be another blockchain that they're trying to build on top of so not only will they have the ethereum ecosystem they'll have the uh new uh, system that they're putting in place uh to build and i'm assuming that that's going to work in correlation with japan and the exchanges that they have out there and also um the systems that they're using payment systems and everything is going to work uh through that new uh bridge but i believe that bridge will go from ethereum to that bridge so not only are they setting themselves in place and this is an addition to jasmine chain guys so jasmine chain is going to be built on top of ethereum and then this new one is going to come out is going to bridge those two together and i think jasmine chain is going to play a big role in that uh because it's going to be help them uh close that gap that they have between the two ecosystems which is very very um uh, profitable because now they're showing signs of expansion guys so these are things you have to understand so when they're talking about the q4 lockup what i got out of that is that uh they're using some wallets that are allocated to the ethereum ecosystem and wallets that are uh, allocated to the new uh ecosystem which i believe uh they're using the wallets called jasmine deployer um so i found this information so let's take a look at this info for you guys all right so what i found out about jasmine deployer is that this is some wallet um these are wallet holdings guys so this whole there's a deployer number one and deployer number two so within this one i found 2.8 billion jasmine and then this one has 1.6 uh, billion jasmine um so that puts it at around three so that's four four point uh two billion jasmine and then a value of 14 15 15 billion dollars or 15 million dollars sorry so i think honestly guys i think this is right here these two deployer one to de deployer two um are going to be uh some of that locked up holdings and then we have this uh off of discord from hera um, saying currently we're testing a bridge uh, to another chain to expand toco token ecosystem and ensure liquidity as the gas of ERC-20 is a focal point in the future we plan for Jasmine to be linked and run with our own chain and I think right now he's not saying that Jasmine chain is going to be um, that per se but what I honestly believe is that they're going to create Jasmine chain on top of uh, Ethereum and then move it over to their new chain which is going to help them run the IOT platform basically what their project has been from from the beginning okay so this is pretty bullish guy guys so I also pulled this up from etherscan and this is basically token holder uh, Jasmine's top 10 our top 100 token holders and you see Binance on top saying that's where everybody gets to the point where they're uh, holding uh, basically owning <laughs> Jasmine they do hold a lot so I found this uh, Jasmine deployer sitting at 1 point billion which is 2.1 percent of the project and then you have the DWF labs which is their partner holding 600 million and then um, these are other just other big wallets but <clears throat> the main thing is that I see is that Jasmine deployer is actually um, <clears throat> out there holding a big chunk uh, one point um, basically 1 billion uh tokens so i think and this is like again guys this is my perspective on it that <clears throat> jasmine deployer is going to be part of that lockup and then whatever is allocated to ethereum um blockchain those will be remain locked and i don't believe they're going to add any additional tokens to the project so i believe we'll cap out where we're at um starting to limiting the supply so we have about 2.8 percent plus so plus whatever is allocated to ethereum so what, what i'm trying to put together guys is showing you that um for as far as the lockup goes we're probably looking at roughly about 20 probably i would say 18 to 20 billion coins locked up uh, taking down the the circulating supply um out of the 50 billion so putting it around i don't know 38 billion or so so that's where i think we're going to be looking at is um roughly if those numbers are accurate and those are correct and again it's my assumption guys it's basically what i could dig up um behind it because the clarity is really not there 
and that that is a con that is the only con that i see in jasmine is that the clarity behind uh this is not there but here's my take on it also is that this is uh you know they're breaking into the united states and we're we we uh we prepare in english and i think that there was a challenge there that he wasn't ready for um to uh, totally understand you know they should have had translators or or whatever the case may be but i could guarantee on the next ama they'll probably set themselves up uh for better um response and better information for the the community guys so uh all in all uh the lockup i this is what i'm seeing out of the q4 lockup guys um is it's going to happen in 2024 of march um because that's the year end uh we're going to have the bitcoin having come right after that so the strategic plan that i see out of that is very profitable guys and this is why let me explain we have they're locking up um uh, roughly i think they're going to take down the supply uh, to about 38 40 billion um, tokens i think that it's going to drive the price because that's all that's going to be available you're going to have the bitcoin having and this is going to drive the growth of the price of jasmine's project and if you look at their roadmap the roadmap tells you the second phase is growing the value of jasmine token and i think that we are on track guys so when i say to you guys jasmine is going to the moon this is the information that we need to look at to show us that everything is in place for us to start making profits guys so when people say that jasmine cannot go to a dollar you tell them hey it's going to go beyond that guys because we are setting ourselves up for success jasmine has done the groundwork yes we have some communication gap between the languages there's a language barrier guys but if you've ever worked with someone that speaks a different language you know it's tough to communicate one point to the next person guys so this is a challenge that we have but i'll tell you what it's not a big deal guys it's not a big challenge that we cannot overcome guys so when i say jasmine is going to the moon understand and believe that jasmine is going to the moon if you are a jasmine community member put it in the comments guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you guys drop that jasmine to the moon in the community um in the comments sorry guys i'm just a little hyped up because um, you know when you see this information and you know that we are moving in the right direction and things are going to happen and the timing of when it's going to happen with the bitcoin having guys this is nothing but setting ourselves up for success for those who think that this project is dead a scam stop don't buy stop keep don't keep going on well the truth has been revealed guys jasmine is going to the moon and those of you who are believers and are holding strong you will see a beautiful reward in the end guys so make sure you guys continue to do your due diligence do your research do all that you can to believe in what you're doing and you're investing in and you could change your lives guys and you can change the lives of others in your family i hope you guys have a great saturday stay blessed guys and much love to you guys from run my crypto thank you guys for tuning in make sure you guys if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments and you guys know i'll do the best i can to answer um but yes, you can actually look up this information for yourself. Um, hope you guys got something out of this video, guys, because I just try to do the best I can to keep you guys updated with the best information that I can, guys. All right. I always do my best for you guys. Remember that. Take care. Be blessed. All right, guys. See ya.